Yes guys, welcome back to the channel So today We are doing a little different type of hunting We are going to small fish Snapper and then something there And me and Mikey alone there today, see the boss there No sir, keep it active Yeah man, see the boss there So me and him alone are going to mark us have something to do with so Just stay tuned And watch what I go on, we are see more friends down there so. Yeah man, see the boss are scared for guidance and protection there yeah man, so we we'll just stay tuned and watch our gun. We'll see if we can get some small fish. And I'm a tall gun me up today too. My bar gun. Because I remember the last time I bar gun no work. We have to go buy one angle. So we'll see what we can find still, so we we'll just stay tuned. Alright? Active, active. Yeah. Yeah man, so we are walking down at the place where we dive out. Guys, please remember to leave a like on the video. Yeah, man, and watch at least one of the ads them, because you don't know that is how we make a revenue. Yeah. Oh, oh. So we are climbing down. Let yeah, me can mash up few parts in ideas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they rock a sharp in them, man. Just go and enjoy the scene guys. Yeah man, just go and enjoy the scene. Go oh, missing some wave I kick up here so I wonder we have to go fast. What? No, I said to miss some wave I kick up right there so we have to go fast. Yes, it's sticky as so guys, we have to know we are going, you know. Yeah man. There will be a bad in a shallow yes up In a rock corner But we are going to just watch it And go out Yes guys, so it's a roof A roof to go out you know you know Thank you roof stuff Yes guys, so look at this though you know I have to watch the wave them before I go out you know because if one of them wave you catch me I mash up you know yeah man it have broke me up so look at look what I got me you know guys when I come in here so I see a big one come so I have to run go back See that? No! You see them big wave there guys? Yeah man, if any of those wave catch me, yeah man, me broke up man. So me have to watch them, you know, yes, you watch it now guys. You see me see cut down, I roll me, I roll go cross, you know, me I roll go cross for the rat them, you know, for the sharp rat them, you know. We 
never come again guys so me have to climb up on a rock right here so the wave are never really big still but me have to climb up Mikey rope was stuck as well so I had to pull it Hey, I'm full, right now, I'm full. Yes, you see that guys, I choke with your coffee like that, you know? Yeah man, we choke off in the water without even putting on my fins. Normally, I don't enter the water without putting on my fins. But this time, we have to choke off because I pulled the rope, but it got tangled again. So this time, I just pull it and choke off. One thing Captain always tells us, guys, we must learn to go to rough sea because you can in the water and see get rough upon you. I would know what to do, so when I got a rough sea, that gives you a lot of experience. Yes, guys, so we are that safe. Yeah, man, so you see if we can find fish now. Eh? Not no drop. Just after reaching the deeper side of the water, Mikey saw a grunt here. This was his first dive. He took his first shot here as well, and he was successful. He spread a lovely grunt. It was a blue strip grunt. Yeah man, so he's off to a good start. One shot, one kill. I saw squabs here that I wanted to spear. This fish is known by a lot of names. Some people call them brown parrot, sleep at night and a lot more names based on the area they are from everyone gives them a different name so right here it wasn't staying one place it was bringing me right to the rock corner and the rock corner was heavy so I was looking up to see how close I was to the rock when I surfaced I heard Mark, Mikey calling me Javon! Javon! so I turned around just as I turned around I saw what he was calling me for so I quickly gave more power to my gun. It was a lovely barracuda. He swam off and went in front of it to stop it so I could get a chance with it. It did stop and I made a dive on it. I was going for a stone shot here but by the time I could press the trigger it swam off a little. So I gave it a spine shot instead. Mikey didn't hesitate. Same time, he made a dive on it and gave it a second shot. He really wanted this barracuda. As while we were walking, he was saying to me that he's going to show me a barracuda today. And so said, so done. Yeah man, the first shot I took at a fish was a barracuda. Mikey was lucky this morning. Yo, you know, so what's going on there, man? Five boys, what's going on in the rock car, now? Eh? Don't sleep at night. My God, you say if I go away, I'm not fit. Hey, baby, box cover. Because this is the way we go pick this up, wash up the glass. Yeah. We go in fire, but you want to see? Oh yeah, yeah, we see. That's right. Come on, watch out the glass game. Come on, come see him. Come on, come on, come on. I'm here to see you, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes, guys! So what I'm doing here, I'm boring his mouth top and also his mouth bottom 
that's why I could string it. So wh why I do it like this? I string him so that his mouth is short. I said, don't know you know them teeth in a normal you know, guys. Yeah man, if that brush against your flesh, your flesh is not yours anymore. So I'm going to show you how it looks when I string it. Yeah man, you see that? Shut up your mouth. Guys, we are swimming for a little while now. And we lost the dough fish. Although we're going to find our next shot. And the water get dirty. I saw Mikey stop in this area. When I came over, I saw two snappers, so I was showing them to him. However, he had his plans. He was going to search for grunts. This area, he's always spearing grunts. So he was going to check a rock. He wasn't focusing on the snappers because he didn't see them. So while I was showing them to him, they swam out from where they were and came over the other side of the reef. So I made a dive here to spear them. Before I could get close, it went up in the rock. So I surfaced because I wasn't going to fire my spear underneath any wall just as I surface it came out back on the other side after I surfaced from the first dive I made another dive to look on the other side of the hole but I didn't record that dive so when I got down it saw me and ran up in the hole I took a good look at the hole and noticed I could fire the spear underneath the rock so this dive was the third dive I was going with the intention to take a shot this time. When I got closer to the hole, I saw it still part, so I aim it and then I took a shot. And guess what, guys? I was successful. The only thing, this one was the smaller one, the bigger one was playing hide and seek. I could only see the tail section. So I thought this one was the bigger one, but it wasn't. When I got back to the top, the bigger one came out again to mock me. Mikey! Yo! One bigger one did have some grunt, so that's good. Guys, the other one still there, so my kid I follow them, you see him too. So while Mikey went to search for him, I was setting up back. I had a plan. If Mikey didn't see him, I was going to dive immediately after Mikey surfaced. Because a lot of times they are underneath the hole. Under the hole is dark. So they can see you and you cannot see them. So as they see your left and come out back. So so I thought that's what the stamper was going to do. So just as I saw Mikey near, I made this dive. This snapper was smarter than us today. It wasn't coming out back because it saw that we had a plan. Yeah man, it was mocking me. You can't catch me, I'm the smarter snapper. Yeah man, so on this dive I didn't see it, so we left that area, we'll catch him another time. Pure dirty water also guys, we can't see down, now we are telling us that pure dirty water we can't see the ocean for you. How do you look clearer? While coming down. The water was really really dirty as shown in the previous clip. Right here was a little bit clearer. So I made this dive to look for a grunt. But while going down, I saw a red belly. So I started to focus on it. I took a shot at it and I did spear it. But this fish tore out. I'm not sure how that fish tore out, but it did. 
to me it was a good holding shot so that is why i didn't try to grab it after spearing it i was looking to see if i saw the ground same way mikey saw what was happening and he made a dive for spear it i heard him fire a shot then i realized it wasn't the hero that i saw the parent went that he fired the shot so i made a dive to search for the parrot after surfacing he told me that it was the parrot he was diving at and he also took a shot at it again but he wasn't successful this was where i saw it go but when i was heading for the surface it swam out and 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 went where mikey fired the shot this hole is also narrow so there is no way for it to hide there so i would have seen it if it was there so we moved on right here i was looking for mikey because i chased a fish and stopped it here it was a lovely squabs so i was looking for where mikey was before i made the dive while also catching my breath i saw where mikey was he wasn't that far away from me so i was i was now comfortable to make the dive while going down i was looking around don't want any sharks him up on me now because the water dirty this was the hole that the parrot went but i didn't see it so i started to look around i saw a monster lobster there so i surfaced immediately to call mikey because my gun was too tall when i was going up back i saw this other lobster so i turned back and speared it and head for the surface right there i saw mikey he was underneath the water as well mikey Yo, yo, Mr. Sunlapse over here, but I don't care shoot. This was a huge lobster. After Mikey reached, I was showing him there where the lobsters were. So he made this dive to see if he could spear one. And he surfaced with this one after he surfaced I made this dive to see if I saw any more that I could spear while going down I saw a butter hind so I took a shot at it I only got a grace after firing that shot I went to look for the lobsters but I didn't see any. They draw up in the wall. This dive was for a sleeper night. When I got down, I realized that it was two of them. The one that I made the dive on was a little bit smaller than the other one. So I was trying to spear the bigger one. None of them gave any chance. They hid from me here, I don't know where they went, so I just head back for surface. While I was hunting the sleep at night, Mikey speared a grunt here. He speared a butterfish here. I saw some grunts here, they were heading in and out of the rocks. They were a mixture of blue strip grunt and white grunt. So I made a slow dive on them because I didn't want to spook any of them. While going down, 
Some of them did head up in the rock though. Blue strip guns. They head up in the rock. But I saw a white gun. It was trying to escape, but just before it could go into the rock, I took a shot at it. What did you think happened, guys? So, see me right there, so? So, we take a shot here now. Yes, I did spear him. While going up, to me, it seems as if the shot would tear out. So, I started to pull him up while surfacing. Yes, I'm gonna just pull him down on the spear and grab him. Yeah, man, I have to secure my fish in guys. While stringing the grunt, I saw a lovely gold tail here. So I quickly set up back, I didn't hesitate. made this slow dive on it, it was inside this rock, but I could still see it. Before I could fire a shot, it swam out. Look at this. See him the guys? Yeah man, it did not stay in one place. I was following it, put it head off, so I just leave that one alone. Guys, one paddle boat fisherman, yeah? Yeah, man, a paddle bass paddle quarter. Let's take a closer look. chased a blue pink here it stopped behind a sea tree and blue pinks they are a mixture of blue parrot and pink parrot it was hiding thinking that I didn't see it but I was catching my breath here because I was chasing it for a little while I made this slow dive on it it didn't move because it thought it hit good I took a shot and I did spear it so I'm a flick flick on the spear, guys I went to grab it because I realized that the gill didn't go there. So I just pull it across the gill and head back for surface with my cash. Can't afford for this fish escaping up guys. I want to hug him up and come straight at top. Guys, the same blue and pretty. Yeah, man, let's take a better look at it right now. Mikey speared a lobster here and was surfacing with it. After he surfaced, he told me another lobster was there. But I didn't make any dive on it because my spear gun was too tall to shoot underneath the walls. So he made the second dive to search for it. He didn't see it on this dive, so he surfaced and made another dive. This was the other dive. However, this time it was on the other side of the rock. He did see the lobster and he speared it. It was a lovely one as well. We're on the deck. 
he was telling me there that he don't make immediate dives at this spot because a big kangaroo live there so after he make a dive it wait a little to see if it would come out oh, yeah. oh. he gave me his string here because he didn't want the kangaroo to attack his string while he was underneath the water so i was showcasing the catch just before he made the dive i saw a grunt it was right near the hole so i showed it to him and he went and speared it because the lobster wasn't going anywhere so he still has another dive to go down and search for the lobster So right there, he made a dive for the lobster. When he got down, he didn't see the one that he made the dive for. He saw another one. This one was even bigger than the one that he made the official dive for. What? Oh man, is that that? You hide. Yeah, all this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm Mikey was telling me there that the grunt that I showed him at first didn't come out when he went down. It was two of them, one was bigger. The one that he speared was the, was the smaller one, and that's not the one that he made the dive for. The one that I showed to him was a bigger one so i made this dive to spear it while going down i saw a pink parrot so i chose the pink parrot over the grunt this pink parrot wasn't settling it was swimming away from me so i just took a long shot i wasn't successful there the current is also strong so it's pulling me left right and center I saw a red belly here. It was a little bit smaller than the first one I speared, but it was still of good size. So I made this dive on it to see if I could spear it. If you notice guys, this area is where we are seeing a little bit of fish. And at this point, we were almost near the exit point. I took a shot and I landed a classic stone shot. It didn't even move. Yeah man. Grunt again for Mikey. He's a old man, guys. He's, he likes peeping underneath walls, so he's always spearing a lot of grunts. I saw a blue pink here, so I made a dive on it. It was trying to hide from me, not knowing that I saw it. I fired a shot and gave this one a lovely stone shot. Yeah man, this one didn't move either. This is how I like spearing them. They give a lot less trouble. Mikey made a dive on a pink part here. I was watching him. While he was heading for surface, he was showing me some other fish. So I swam off. When I swam off, I saw a blue pink. I like spearing fish out in the open. So I saw another blue pink here. So I made a slow dive on it. It was trying to hide from me. We were playing hide and seek, ready or not, here I come. Yes, so I gave it a shot there. It was in the gill and it tore out, but it didn't go that far. Mikey made a dive here. 
to retrieve it from me. He fired a shot. When I look at his spear, it wasn't the parrot. He didn't see the parrot, but he saw a butterfish, so he took the butterfish. You not come find it then. I made this dive to search for it because it didn't leave from underneath the wall it was under there hiding when I got there I didn't see it all I saw was a wenchman we call him Kanga Tony in our area what do you call him in your area? I heard Mikey calling me. When I look up, he was showing me something. I was looking there, then I saw the parrot. So I just gave it a second shot and head back for surface. The first shot was also a good shot. The shot just didn't hold. And you know when they are on the spear, they flick around and try to tear up themselves. So that's what happened there. Yeah, see that guy? That is why I'm in the go for knockout. They need too much problem when they, when they shoot them in the body, then tear off. But our, it was a good shot, you know. As you can see, the gill bust out. That is why it takes care. Yeah, what? Mikey, yo, how are you doing? You're tired? You can't be so old if I pick you out of the sand and we see how come we eat. I saw a few more fish, but Mikey was heading for land, so we leave them. While in the shallow, I saw this pinky, decided that I wanted to spear it. I did spear it, but it tore off. I saw where it went, so I surfaced, quickly set up, and made another dive on it. The current was also strong in the shallows. If you look carefully guys, you will see all the seagrass. They are dancing, moving from left to right. Take a close look at it when I make this dive. When I look underneath the rock, I could only see the tail part of the fish. So I took the shot. I did spear it and the spear got stuck a little. So I was pulling it out. You see how the grass moving? So after I pull it out here, it tore off again. But it didn't go that far. This time Mikey made the dive to give it the second shot because he saw what was happening. See how the current is strong guys? Yeah man, everything under the water dance. Even me when I made the dive. Look how, do, look how Mikey ever start dancing out too. So right there, he spotted the fish. He took his aim. And he did spear it. So we were heading for land. This was the last shot for the morning. Even though the water was dirty and the current was strong, we still found food and we're thankful for that. Yes, Father, thank you for being with me. Look at that. Yes, guys, so we just come in, show me catcher now in details. This is Mikey catcher. First fish at 20 shot. Yeah, man, the boss have some nice fish, man. And some lobster, them big, you know. Look at that. Water did dirty and things still, but we still find food. We have to give God thanks, alright? This is my catcher now. Yeah, man, one lovely barracuda. Blue pink. So nice blue pink. Snapper. Red belly. 
<laughs> oh, a lobster. Why not stop her? No, a white gun. Yeah, man. So, so me give thanks to the catcher. Yeah, man, we find food. So we are scaling them up now and get fed home because the time kind of late. About what time now? Maybe about after five? Yeah, let me see what time. Oh, I can't look on the time on my video. Yeah, man, so we are going to finish scale up and get fed home. Yeah, so see, I better look at my string here. Yeah? My catch. We are scaling fish. So I'm now scaling fish, I'm charging. Yeah, man, I have to show you people more going on, you know, man. So the water is not good, but we get a nice catch the same way. So thanks for watching, guys. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. So that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.